come make ramen with me. I'm gonna be changing locations in a minute just for the intro of the video and I'll probably come back and eat here. Make some ramen. I've never done like a full on video like this on my YouTube so I'm just like, I was like, why not? Let's do it. Let's try it. My favorite meal, like the Baldac ramen. I'm so happy that became a trend because I've discovered like my new favorite food. It's just too good. I'm literally speechless every time I eat it. I'm like, not because of the spice, because I sort the spice. Basically, just add some cream. Like, I know loads of people add cheese, but I hate cheese. I'm hungry, so let's go make it. I usually add some other things in there, so I'll show you that. This will probably end up being like a little cook with me, bang, like joint video. That was a quick intro. Let's go cook, because I'm hungry. The mood for some noodles. I've changed locations, but in the kitchen. A bit chaotic. I feel like there's just mess everywhere. I'm going to show you what I use. Okay. This is my favourite ramen packet. The black one. The hot chicken flavour, but the black one. The red one's too spicy. This is okay. This is like, I can handle this one. I think it's because the red one's times two and I don't, it's too spicy. And I just put in that. I obviously put it with water, which you'll see in a minute. I add some cream in there just to get it all creamy once it's cooked. I add some spring onions and then these chicken gyozas. No guys, they are so nice. So I'll put some of them on the side, add a bit of soy sauce when I'm done. It just goes so well with noodles. It just goes so well. It's just like, oh. The combination of it all together is just on my Just make it like as creamy as possible, basically. That's all I try and do. It's so good. And, like I don't even like cream that much, but like I add a little bit of it and it you can't really taste it. You can just taste the sauce, like the bulldog -like sauce. So I'm going to go into a little time lapse. It'll just be too loud. It's just going to be too loud in this kitchen. So go into a little time lapse of me making it for the first time ever. And then I'll do a little more. <laughs> A work of art. I'm so excited to eat it. Just did a little time lapse of me cooking it. Cause I was like, it's just too stressful to talk through it. And it takes literally like five minutes, it doesn't take long. Oh, see how like creamy and orange it goes with the cream. Spring onion, I've added soy sauce to the gyozas. It's gonna be a good time. First bite. Um, that is just stunning. Oh my God. I just never misses. I love how quick it is as well though. And these noodles aren't like normal ramen noodles they're like thick and oh they're so nice do a little gyoza i ran out of soy sauce for like weeks so like the last two times i've had this i haven't had soy sauce on them oh magical elevates the experience oh my god i usually use chopsticks to eat this but i'm too hungry and it's too messy and like i can use them but like i'm not the best so i was like i'm too hungry i'm using a fork I just get these noodles from like my local Asian supermarket. They stock most flavours. Well, they don't do the carbonara ones, but do these, they do my favourite flavour. I like the curry ones too, but these are my favourite. And I've tried the stir fry ones. They're like my least favourite. I tried those, is it tabaki? Like the rice cakes, the Korean rice cake. I tried them like two weeks ago when I made them. I honestly don't see the hype. Like I them for half an hour before I cook them. Like to me, it's literally like what sauce they're in because they taste like nothing on their own. They don't taste like anything to me anyway. These noodles taste like noodles. Rice cakes tasted like absolutely nothing. Don't know if I did it wrong or, or what. I try not to get these on my clothes because every time I eat these or, or basically just anything, I get it all over me. And I mostly wear like grey, like light colours and it just stains all my clothes. So like when the noodles go like, poof, where they spit out sauce everywhere. Fun for me because I'm like, well, there's clothes that now need to go in the bin. The day I'm filming this, guys, it's been a week since I went to Tate McRae and I'm really sad about it. Post-concert depression is real. I really badly experienced that last year with Harry Styles. Badly, like I was like, it's not for me. Like I can't go to work. I can't do this, can't do that. Because I was like, I need to be living at Love on Tour. It's not as bad this time. But like, it does just get me thinking how like, there's no Love on Tour this year and it's just so sad. I am going to see Nilo, which I'm so excited for. I usually watch something when I eat, but I'm filming this mukbang so I can't. The silence is so weird, like hearing myself chew. It's like, it literally is giving ASMR. Oh my God, guys, um, I've started my running journey. What? Like, I never thought I would say that. I've done two runs this week already. Two. 
it's a way that's like two times more I've ever done in my life and I think I went on like one run like literally like three years ago my cousin and I never went again I was like no I think I've seen people on TikTok just like run it looks so fun they go on their lunch breaks and stuff and I'm like I could so do that so it like it really motivated me and I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I've done two so far I'm just following the um couch to 5k oh I've just built it on me like, are you, after me saying that, I've literally just spilled it on me, like, what a joke. Oh my great jogger. Literally screaming, what is my life? But this is already stained. This is my favourite white fox tracksuit. And I've got another one too. I've got, like, the pink writing on. This is the orange one. They're both my favourites. And I've stained them with food. I've stained both of them. And I'm like, I really am holding off, like, throwing them away. I'm like, I can try and get the stain out. I can try and get out. Can't. I'm just, like, in pure denial that there's even stains on them. The creaminess, guys. Mm. What food YouTuber I'm obsessed with and she does mukbangs all the time? Steph Pappas. I think that's how you say her last name. Love Steph. I'm like, if I could eat that much and not put on loads of weight, like, I would eat like she does for her videos. Like, crazy. Like, she just eats so much food and I love it. She she inspires me. But she's got all the American drive throughs and I'm like, I'm so jealous. That is one thing we need. Like, when I want a simple wing stop, I've got to go to Manchester. The thing I've got around me is like, Mackey's and KFC. And a Starbucks drive from. That is it. I want the Raisin Cane. I close the wing stock. A Taco Bell drive through We don't have one. We've got one in Liverpool, but not. Yeah, and it's not a drive through Chick fil A. In and out. Oh, I need it all. 7 Eleven gas stations are cool enough. Like, that's what I want. Target. I'm just obsessed with these noodles. Mmm. I'm gonna go watch my show with the rest of the year. Love chatting to you guys. Loved eating ramen together as best friends. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. Like, oh, she's a mukbanger. Like, I never do wings at once, but crazy. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.